Hello and welcome back to the latest tutorial for the sleeve. So we're going to pick up the sleeve stitches that we had on waist yarn last time. So we're going to be using a smaller needle, so just a cord that's long enough to go around the top of your arm. You can also use DPNs if you prefer to use DPNs, that's not a problem, it's the same thing. You will also need to have a stitch marker because we are going to be creating a new beginning of round so we need to know where that start is also because we're going to be doing some decreases so you need to know where your decreases are going to be so let's pick up those stitches so if you take a look at your instructions it's on page four for the sleeve work sleeve in stocking stitch in the round on circular needle double pointed needles there are for my size 62 stitches for each sleeve slip stitches from the stitch holder back onto circ onto the needle size five millimeter so it's the same size as you've been doing for the body so we're consistent um, cast on eight new stitches under the sleeve so we're going to work in stocking stitch in the round at the same time insert a stitch marker in the middle of the new stitches so after creating four more stitches under the arm we're going to put a stitch marker on and then create four more so that is what we're going to do so let's choose a side and we are just going to very simply slide your needle through those stitches I do recommend that you keep that yarn in those stitches until all your stitches are on your needle so you don't lose any so it's a little bit fiddly but they'll soon be on so I shall speed this up a bit while I do it So once you have all your stitches back on then we can snip that yarn and you can pull it out so you can take it in different sections so you don't have to take it all out in one piece just make sure you're only snipping that waste yarn nothing else because we don't want any snipped knitting that would be a disaster <laughs> so yeah just pull it out make sure that your knitting's away from the end so you're not pulling them back off again okay so once all of that waist yarn is out of your sleeve then we can start knitting so we need to take a fresh ball of yarn and so we start knitting on the left hand side so it's not going to be joined in the round yet we're going to pick those stitches up across there and then that will join us into the round so we're just going to start knitting right around this sleeve first of all If you've picked up a stitch that's wrong the wrong way you'll you'll know it's just not right when you go to knit it then just slip it off and just turn that one around so this is just with setting up so you might have stitches around the wrong way so just twist it around the other way my first few were the right way and then these ones have been the wrong way so it's easier to get them on the needle first so they're safe and then just twist them the right way so if you're not sure which is the right way then they should be looking like this so they sit that way not like that so you see that one 
is more slanted that way it just doesn't seem right when I go to pick it up but if I turn it around then it sits nicer for me to put my needle in so I'm just coming up to the end of this first row now So now I need to pick up four stitches, put in the stitch marker for the beginning of the row and then pick up another four. So the way we do this is literally, if you can see, it's hard on this yarn, but if you see the V's along the edge, you see where each stitch is. So we're going to put our needle in both of those, so you've got both of the legs on there. Take the yarn round and just use it as a knit stitch. So then bring that through and you have your first stitch. That's one. So we're going to take it through both legs. So we have two on there. Take that yarn round and pull it through. So that's two stitches. Just do that again go through both legs so it's hard to see because this yarn so fluffy but we've got two legs it's on the edge very edge of underarm take the yarn round as if we're knitting and then just pull that through so that's three stitches once more So through both of the legs, so through both of the legs, yarn round, pull it down and up. So we have four stitches there now that we've created. So then you need to put your stitch marker in because that's going to be our new beginning of row. And then we're going to pick up four more. So through the two legs, round and through, through the two legs, round and through. Through the two legs round and through and through the two legs round and through so that is four so we've created four on one side and four on the other and then we're just going to carry on knitting so this is the point where we've picked this up from is the point where we're going to be counting so this point here is where we're going to be counting because we're going to be putting decreases in every so many centimetres like we did before. So it's a good idea to then mark where this is. So then we will know that's the starting point for us to actually measure because we've now got to knit four centimeters before we do the first decrease so i should take my yarn round and then i should show you the decrease now so you know the decreases for when we do them So I've knit all the way round, so we shall pretend that I've done four centimetres of the sleeve from that starting point. So we have come to our first decrease, so we need to oh, sort this one out because that's where our new ones are. So we're just doing the same decrease as we did down the side. So you've got three stitches, so you stop three stitches before your marker. And then we're just going to 
knit two together, knit one, pass that over the stitch marker, knit another one, slip the next one as if to knit, knit the next stitch and then pass that one over. So it's exactly like we did for the sides, we're just going to do that for that top as well. So if you look at your instructions, as I said we are going to, until it measures four centimetres, then we're going to decrease one stitch on each side of the marker, repeat decrease approximately every two and a half centimetres. So every time you do a decrease, put your little marker in there so you know, and then after two and a half centimetres or however many for your size, and 14 times for me, that will shows you what stitch count you need to get down to. And then when your sleeve measures 43 centimetres for me, then we're gonna do the rib. The rib and the casting off is exactly the same as the bottom of the sweater, so you will be fine with that. If you need a refresher, then you can just do that, but I won't come back and do another video for that because we've already done a rib and we've done the cast off and you know to swap down to the smaller needles. So that is going to be it for the sleeve, very quick and easy. So I shall be back next Tuesday and I shall show you how we're going to sew up the openings under the sleeve. So I definitely won't have finished two sleeves, I don't think in a week, but just so we can finish this off and anybody that is zooming ahead isn't waiting I shall be showing you that next week so I shall intend to get at least one sleeve done this week so happy stitching I hope you're doing well and I shall see you again next week for the underarm sewing up take care bye for now